Hello everyone, I am Fixer and welcome to Test Drive where we take a game out for a spin to get a first impression and you let me know if you'd like to see more. And today, we're kicking the tires off of the Chinatown Detective Agency. So this is being developed and published by General Interactive Co. Uh, you can get it on Itch.io right now, the demo that is. I'll put a link below so you guys can grab it and play it for yourself. And it is just now launching a Kickstarter to get the game funded. I'll put that link below for you as well. So this is a cyber noir point and click adventure where you manage a private detective agency and use real world research to solve cases. I've already played through the demo, so I know what's going to happen. What, what sets this game apart is that there is info in the game that you kind of have to Google and figure out and apply that knowledge in the game. I like the idea. I'm actually pretty excited to play the rest of this game. I actually found this through the artist. The artist is also working on a different game called Future Flashback, which is a cyberpunk point-and-click adventure game that takes place in Detroit. I've been following that game for a while, and then I found this game through that. And this is all my jam. You guys know how it is. Anyways, let's jump in and play. Singapore 2031. Man looks upon all that he has made, and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his own dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all, a tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being. What's that bird? What is that? A witness to the brilliance of its master. That's not a real man's bird, is it? The greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption, vanity, hubris. Uh, I don't trust it. Oh! <laughs> and it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. Untainted by the touch of man. One year later, I I, tr I should have trusted him. Not that I could have done anything about it. I had a good feeling that bird was bad news. Okay. Let's do this. Oh. Well, it's a start. Voice acting. I. It's an interesting. It's this is interesting. So we got this low, res, character and environment really, but a super high res, profile image here. Interesting. Okay. Uh, Amira Dharma. Well, it's a start. I did not know there was voice acting. I'm here for the housewarming party. Well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. <laughs> Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even the commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelong. I brought you a little gift. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Straight to business, ah. Uh. What? I got bills to pay. <sighs> yeah, I got something. You'll need to meet a client somewhere more private. He's the tinfoil hat wearing type. SPF? Civilian. Uh, when are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. The voice acting has been, the, the volume levels have been 
inconsistent. I can imagine that would be a difficult thing to handle in a game that's got a lot of voice acting. Firstly, uh, you're welcome. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department, trust me. You do work you regret for a pittance and get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected and he's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Okay. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. Come back? So she used to be a cop. Yeah, well, my days as a cop are over. Uh -huh. I had to ask. Alright. My guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy and you might actually stay in business for a while. Thanks, Justin. Oh, you won. So she's... You take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. She's a PI now, then. Uh-oh, I didn't hear that. Oh, I bet you they, they've only got, like, the intro voicing done because this game currently is in Kickstarter. That's probably the deal. Justin wasn't joking. This guy had a penchant for the cryptic under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under the a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Although that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in this city. So that should narrow down my options. Okay. Welcome to Chinatown Detective Agency. Missions will take you to different places in Singapore and the world. Right now the mission tasks you with finding a Bodhi tree. Click on the map button at the bottom panel to access the MRT map and click on a location to travel there. Okay, messages. A picnic at midnight under the shade of a tree where all was illuminated. Okay. That's my phone, I suppose. Mission name, a picnic at midnight. Alright, let's uh let's go to the map. Uh okay. So we're, I assume we're here now, because we're going here. Are you sure you want to travel to Botanic Gardens? That was quick. Please mind the gap. The Botanical Gardens. Oh. First laid out in 1859 during British rule. Countless species of plants and animals have called this home over the years. But I'm here for one in particular. The Bodhi Tree by Swan Lake. The client should be waiting there. I'll need to hack my way past the maintenance gate, though. Uh, Super Tree Grove. Am I an actual person walking around? No? Okay. Well, I only got one way to go. Welcome to Renegade Software Sleeper Cell. Okay, what does this mean? Is this, is this, oh god, this is matching? My memory is awful. Um, alright. Fantastic. Oh god. Okay. I'm doing okay. Warning. There's no, there's no sound effects here. But again. It's in Kickstarter. It's not fully done. Access granted. Okay. Um. I, I guess I got through. Oh, there I am. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the happy families and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? Uh, sure. I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. Well, until now. I have a special arrangement with the Keeper. If you had told him I was expecting you, he would have just let you waltz in, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe tell me next time? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only deal with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you have this fine morning. What do you know about me? Please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. 
and I assure you, it pays well. All right, out with it. I like the sound of that. So what legwork are we talking about? I just have to say right off the bat that I don't do dirty work. I'm an investigator, not a thug. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. That's his job. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, I won't stop you. One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of a profitable insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. Okay. The contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this. To know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff right there. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are. Most of the time. Okay, thanks for being creepy. I'd usually find that creepy. Yeah, but knowing that you. I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kinda dulls the edge. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. Good luck. Alright, are, are, are we going to the library then? Your mission log at the bottom right corner logs all your leads and other relevant information to the case. Right now, you may want to go to the last known location of Philip Ung. Aha! Uh -huh. Of all the miseries, the bitterest is this to know so much. Alright, so we need to find a passage from a book. Uh, last known location is of his phone, is in the library. Gotcha. What is all this? Evidence. Persons of interest. Questions. Dialogue log. Interesting. Okay, I like having access to all that. Let's close this. Alright, where are we going now? The library? Um, the Civic District, I assume? Because that has been added? Sure. Let's go there. Yeah. I'm not sure how we're going to find such a book, but I don't know. The National Library. It's a miracle it's still up and running, considering how underfunded the government is. Mm-hmm. I'll need to run a search on the database to know which section of the library I should be headed for. Uh, hi guy. You look interesting. Can I talk to people? No? Can I talk to this guy who's clearly the... the librarian? He's just gonna walk away from me. Yeah, okay. Whatever, dude. One of the key mechanics of Chinatown Detective Agency is that it requires the player to figure things out on their own. That means getting on Google or doing research to crack a clue. Really? Interesting. See if you can figure out who wrote the quote in your mission log, then type the author name or the name of the book the quote came from. Um, okay, I can actually dig that. That's going to be weird to do a full Let's Play or something like that with it, but... I'm game. I can I can figure it out. All right, I'm clicking off. Let's see here. I can't put this on screen. Is the screen? Does it move when I'm not on? Some games it allows you to move, and some games it doesn't. All right. Of course, it minimizes. So, of all of the bitterest is this: to know so much and have control over nothing. To know so much and have control over nothing. Google says. Herodotus. Okay. Let's close this up. Herodotus. Please proceed to the Central Public Library Basement 1. Here we go. Okay. Interesting that they're having you go outside the game to grab info. You don't see that a whole lot. Uh, Basement 1. Hello. 
Wow, look at that. A new face. Uh, you here for the free Wi-Fi? I'm looking for a book. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, you're, uh, you're serious. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days. Or these years. Which one are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for The Histories by Herodotus. Oh, goodness. Herodotus. Follow me. I like the the idle movement, or the movement while she's talking. Very old school, pixel art, point and click type stuff. It reminds me a little bit of Stan from Monkey Island. Here we go, the histories, Herodotus. Uh, Twickenham Press, 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Huh. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. Uh, on the contrary, a lot of stuff Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes in Egypt, ants the size of foxes in Persia, stuff like that. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Underlined. Underlined it? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah some people like to do that. No, there, there's something strange about this one. Someone underlined only single letters on some pages. This is a clue. A clue? Look, I'm, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage? This part of the library? Or wouldn't they have that on file? Especially in a, what looks to be some sort of police state? Uh, well... Technically, yes, but you'll have to file a, a J2 form in an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. You could also file an E application to the security department and, uh, uh no, I, I haven't got the time for that. Hang on, what's going on here? Because things are escalating pretty quickly. Well, I'm a private investigator. Person's gone missing and I'm trying to track him down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. Oh, uh, and you're thinking the underlying parts are a clue? Well, I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Look, do you think you could at least help me find uh, who the re uh, last person to check this book out was? Yeah, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Not even for a hundred dollars? You know, for your troubles. I don't trust this dude over here, listening in on our conversation. And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with helping an investigator get to the bottom of a case. Game feels so different when there's no ambient sounds, doesn't it? It's interesting. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now, but librarians? <sighs> I'm sorry, you're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I'll tell you what, 300 and you got yourself a deal. Being a librarian doesn't exactly pay great in times like these. Gotta look out for number one. Oh, um, 300 it is, I, I guess. Down here's my money. Okay, it says here the book was checked out about 83 hours ago by uh, Genevieve Go. Address? Well, now we're really breaking the law, aren't we? Look around you, the law is out of service until further notice. If this person is going to be found, We'll have to work around it. Uh, let's see. 42 Badak North Avenue, Unit 124081. I hope I don't have to memorize that. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm going to have to look uh, at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. Oh, that would be extremely helpful. There's a cut of the pay for in it for you if you manage to figure it out. Does that technically make me a private eye now? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Huh, that's nuts. Okay, I'll, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough. Uh, I, I would like to do it. I, I'm, I'm outsourcing my work. Head to Badak. Last person to check out the book lives there. Okay. Um, alright, can I just... I don't trust this guy. Can I just, uh, skedaddle from here? Um, well, let's go to... Gilang, just to see it before we head on out. Tiger lilies in the KTV club. All right, I know I got, I got stuff to do, but I do want to just you know check things out in case 
you know, I myself. Oh, fancy. Can I go down here? No. So there's nothing to do yet in here. Um. Oh wait, I don't want to go here. Let's let's head out. Can I get out? Uh oh, I thought this was the door. No. Uh. Okay. So that's weird. Screw it. We'll go to Bedak. Badak, Singapore's most populated uh, residential town. Without the exact address, finding someone would have been uh, like looking for a needle in a grain silo. Uh, I guess they're up there. Well, someone left in a hurry. I should feel around for a light switch. Are we just going to walk in? Uh, I, I... The light switch is not by the door? Is it somewhere else? That looks like a body right there. Um. Oh! There it is. I guess I just had to hover over it properly. All right, so maybe not a body. Oh, look at that. The cursor changes. Whoever Genevieve is, it looks like she's packed up and left. I doubt she's still in the country. Okay. Huh. She left in such a rush, she left the computer on. Well, looky here. From Ung Philip. One day, uh, July 14th. With this outrageously long number. I hope I don't need that for anything. Oh my god. It's a secret code! I'm betting the book in the library is the key. Time to head back. Okay, so it's the, it's the cipher. Okay. Um. Can I just head out here? No, I gotta go back here. So I give this to the librarian and then she can decipher it for me, I suppose. Hello. Just in time. So it appears the book is a key to cracking some coded messages, encoded message. Uh kind of like this. Ah uh, yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, decipher the secret message. Enter the ciphered message below. Uh, okay. A144? What do you mean? Why are some of these white? I'm not sure. So I'm looking for 144. Is that right? I don't see 144 anywhere. Oh my god. Or 14, maybe? Oh, I see it now. L? Tell you what, I'm just going to skip ahead. Londinium Wednesday 640. Okay, done. Londinium Wednesday 640. A meeting place and time. Londinium, what is that, a club? No, I doubt it. Genevieve left in a hurry. I don't think she was heading out to meet someone in Singapore. No, this is a flight. A Londinium. The old Roman name for London. Precisely. I gotta go. Thanks for everything. No problem. Mating, by the way. If you need my help again, you know where to find me. I like that I can put my encyclopedic knowledge to good use, but bring cash. Wow. <laughs> Noted. Thanks, May. I'll be in touch. Mira. Uh, Rupert. Philip Ong and his girlfriend are no longer in Singapore. I, that's a that's a leap. I mean, we got a flight, but that doesn't mean they're already on it and gone, right? I don't know. I expected as much. Do you know where they went? Yes, London. I need money for the flight, and I need some intel on the ground. Say no more. I'm wearing you partial payment for the job. Book your flight and get to London as soon as possible. What did he just give me? Was it $5.50? I'll track them down. Someone will be waiting for you. Waiting there for you. Find Philip and his girlfriend and do what you must to get them back to Singapore. Or at the very least, get my money back. What happens when they get back here? You shouldn't worry about that. Just get it done. You'll get a bonus for bringing them back here. Alive. 
Now what you know, where, now that you know where the suspect is, it's time to fly there. The game features a flight booking system called Horus. Click on the Horus button on the bottom panel and book a flight to London from Singapore tomorrow in game time. After that, travel to the airport in the real game. You'll have to wait for the actual departure time before heading to the airport. But for this demo, you can get on the book flight at any time. Okay, Horus. Singapore. Okay. We, well, we want a return flight. Uh, wait, what is today's date? 8-3-32. So, can I go... Zero four. How do I change this? Four. Okay. And my return flight. You know what? Let's do one way because we don't know how long it's going to take. To London. Okay. This is this is a weird thing to put in a game. I could dig it though. I could dig it. Uh, departure time eight thirty. Sure. I mean, it doesn't matter, right? Five hundred fifty. All right. Well, let's just do this. Book flight. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for booking with Horace. You're up on flight. We'll depart for London on the time date. Uh, boarding starts three hours before departure. Is that where I'm going right now then? I assume. Hello. I am here for my flight. Everybody step aside. Oh wow, this is amazing. If only. Rupert just got out of the terminal, what's the plan? Spoke to some of my informants and we've pinpointed them to an apartment not far from Canary Wharf. CCTV footage shows a man that matches Philip's profile entered the apartment a few hours ago. Go now. Uh. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. This is very pretty. I like the pixel art. Yeah? Are you there? Yeah, yeah, just outside the apartment. Listen, Philip isn't just an overpaid accountant. He's served in the Special Forces during the, his National Service years, so... Yeah, thanks. Don't worry. There's always a diplomatic solution to every problem. So she, she doesn't even have a gun. Oh, Mr. Ung, I'm Amira Dharma from Singapore. <laughs> That's kind of a weird line. I've been sent to ask you a few questions. Can I have a few minutes? Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's not dead. He's just a bad shot. Looks like the diplomatic solution isn't going to work today. Oh, God. When you see the crosshairs icon above Amira's head, it means that a shootout is about to begin. Press and hold the G key to unholster your gun. Where did she get a gun? I don't think she took it on the plane. Okay. Whenever you enter a shootout, your mouse cursor will turn into a crosshair. Shoot Philip to disable him. You should always try to shoot your target in the hand or arm to avoid killing him. Is that proper procedure? Be careful, you've got limited time to take your shot. If you run out of time, you will automatically kill your target. What? A oh, I'm good. Hell yeah. Oh, well, fast forward a little bit. The woman of the hour is back in the house. Oh, hello, Rupert. How's your ma our man doing? He was discharged from the hospital yesterday. He was carted to CID HQ, but not before I could have a word with him. He had quite a story. Oh, care to share? It appears Philip's little heist wasn't his idea. He had accomplices. Yeah, accomplice. Suggests that it was a team effort, but it's not that. It's more like he received instructions from someone else. Someone that's proving to be elusive. I got a feeling that you weren't here for a courtesy call. Be thankful. Repeat business is hard to come by these days. Get yourself something good to eat. Get some rest. You've earned it. Call me when you're ready to go deeper down the rabbit hole. Ah, oh, thanks. See you when I see you. Good day, Miss Dharma. A picnic at midnight. Case complete. Okay. 
I guess that's it then. You've successfully followed the trail to London and scratched the surface of an even bigger case. Sadly, this is where the demo ends. All right, so I, I really like the pixel art, of course. Uh, it's an interesting game with uh, scheduling flights and 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 whatnot. It's it's really weird. I've never really seen that in a game before, but I'm I'm on board. The interface is rather large. I don't know if I like that or not yet. Haven't really been able to use it. Can I can I call? Uh, Oh, wait. Whatever. Whatever. Um, I, I kind of wish there was more to that shooting. You know, I didn't really learn a whole lot about what this guy was. But I guess maybe that's something they would elaborate, you know, in the next case, I would assume. Since they said it's part of a larger case. Uh, right now, I'm kind of com confused as to what's going on a little bit. But, you know, it's, a, it's an unfinished demo. It's in Kickstarter. They, they're not done with the game yet, so that's, that's kind of expected. But I'm on board. I'd, I'd check it out for sure. Um, links will be below if you guys want to check it out yourselves. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.